So guys, in this video, we are going to see how to develop a snake and ladder game using JavaScript, HTML, CSS. Okay, this is pure HTML and JavaScript, CSS. And we will see how to develop a snake and ladder game. I think most of the people know about the snake and ladder game. So this will start from the position one. And whenever you are going to this ladder starting position, it will take you to, for example, in case if you reach this four, it will take you to the number 14. In case if you reach uh, 36, the snake will move you down to the sixth position. Okay, so this is because this is of the snake and ladder game. So now we are going to develop this using JavaScript HTML CSS. But as of now, this is only part one. There will be, I think, two more part will come because in this first part one, we are going to design this board, the snake and ladder game board. We will design. In the second part, we will see how to move the coins from that one position to another position based on the dice how it is rotating. And then uh, maybe in the last thing we will see like how to create a result and how to show the timing and all these things okay okay in the first part we are going to see how to create the board okay so for this board design we are going to use html css and the simple javascript also we are going to do okay and for this designing of the board the first thing is about the css so in the css i am using a display grid actually okay what this display grid will do this will create a grid uh, format in our application and here we are going to mention as a grid template column what this grid template column will do this will create a column in each row so here I mentioned as repeat 10 comma 10 percentage repeat 10 means each row will have a 10 column okay each row will have a 10 box so in case more than 10 box means it comes to the next row so that's what I have mentioned if I give 100 div means this 100 will be divided into <coughs> 10 so each row will have a 10 the next will be in a net 10 like this we will have a 10 rows because we are providing a 100 boxes so each box will have a 10 percentage with actually okay this is the advantage of display grid actually in case if you are using a some other CSS is a proper, property means we have to mention each individually but as we are using a grid template column it will help us to create a column that just by giving a simple uh, CSS property okay then font size I am using this and all you know okay okay now come to this JavaScript as you can see here HTML I am not having anything just only the container that's it it does not have any code actually here now come to the JavaScript so first time what I am going to do I am just getting this box container using this JavaScript code okay so next one is I am going to create a uh, JavaScript sorry I am going to create a box using our JavaScript which means 100 box so the reason why we are having 100 box is by default this uh, uh, snake and ladder game will start from uh, number 1 to 100 right so I am also creating the same thing so now here I am just mentioning a starting box would be 100 and then ending, ending box would be 1 actually okay so let me save the file and go to okay so now I need to uh, sorry I need to append this box to the container so box container dot append here I will mention as tmp okay save it go to this place okay go to the document as you can see here see the the hundred boxes is created prop, prop appropriately once again I will hide it okay so now as you can see here hundred boxes created if you see here it starts from number one to hundred actually okay because of that I just uh, created a code from hundred so only you can able to see the uh, you know that boxes started from 100 to 1 actually okay so okay next thing is we are going to create a snake and a ladder snow snake means um whenever wherever you want to create a snake we can use the snake that particular image and then wherever you want to show the ladder we are going to show the ladder and one more thing as per the existing or we can say the traditional design whenever you want to have a snake if you see here the 62 that they are having a snake so this snake ends in the line number 18 which means it shows that directly we have to go down to the 18th position but this design I don't know how to uh, you know uh, design in using HTML CSS to from this to this position and it takes too much time also I don't have time that much so what I'm going to do I'm going to put a snake in the particular position so there I will write some simple description about where he has to go which means um, okay first we will create an object so where and all we need a uh, this uh, snake and uh, ladder okay so based on the position we will create some object some empty object we will, sorry some detail object we will create so this is the object i have mentioned so what this will do this is in the fifth position i need a ladder and this ladder what it helps it helps to to make us to move to uh, for, for 12th position the same thing in the line number sorry in the position number nine i am having a snake what this snake will do this will take us to the position two actually this will because snake always uh, keep us down ladder will always keep to the top actually okay so now I have created an object this is like a details object now based on this position I am going to create a some ladder detail in this one so here what we are going to do whenever the position is coming into the loop in the 
for loop we are having right in the for loop whenever it reaches this particular number accordingly it will create the its snake or ladder okay so for this thing first i'm going to use this uh, javascript once again okay so this one so what this will do this will check whether the particular number is existing in the detail object or not if it is exist it assigned to the object variable to easy access then i am creating an image element in the image i am going to mention either, either snake or ladder so this image already have downloaded in my system so this is called a ladder png this is called snake png okay so whenever the, i want to show snake i will show this snake whenever i want to use ladder i will use this ladder actually okay okay close this one now go to this place and come down okay so now either snake or ladder will be identified by the type okay this you people understood okay now i am going to what i am going to do i am going to append this image to the uh, the temporary div so tmp because the reason why are we using if condition is only some positions will expect this uh, ladder or snake so i am using this one into img okay save this one go to the place let me see will it be added okay, once again not okay. I think okay. This one should come down because it should be the last one. Okay, go to the place. Okay, okay, yeah, actually there is a small mistake actually, so which means I didn't mention the source, so I will copy paste because I created image element, but that image element does not have the source actually, because we need to mention which image it has to show, right? Okay, okay, that's the reason the image is not shown. Okay, now go, go to this place. Okay, as you can see here, here we can, you can see the stick and then uh, ladder also you can able to see it, see it, right? So maybe the ladder is showing, not showing properly, that's because the color of the ladder, it is in the white color i need to select some other color maybe i will do it later okay now if you see this uh, output you can see the snake in the line number 43 sorry position number 43 24 9 this is because the javascript we have mentioned line number 9 it has to be snake and uh, all these things okay so now as per the code the css which we have written it is working fine okay so now we will do one more scenario also which means i want to create a some Okay, so here I want to create some text here or we can say, yeah, I need to do one, one more thing. So wherever the snake sits, I want to make the background color as red color. Wherever the lad ladder exists, I want to show the green color. Okay. So for this thing, I already have a, uh, this uh, snake kind of thing, which means that CSS class, which is for the snake, it has, it has to be red color. For the ladder, it has to be the uh, red, uh, green color. Okay. So this uh, design is, uh, it's very simple to add this class because Again, we are having a, this name, which is already there in the for loop itself. So I just copy paste this one. So what this will do, this will add the class to this place and okay, let me save this file. Can you see this one? So wherever the snake exists, it will become a red color. Wherever the ladder is exists, it will become a green color. That's it. And apart from this, you, ca you can able to see some simple animation. So this animation is uh, the normal CSS keyframe animation. So I just added a, a animation for the snake image, wherever the snake exists, that image will be rotated into this one from 360 degree it can rotate it that's what you can able to see the rotation of the image in the only for the snake just to looks good i just added this animation but it's not having any logic actually to looks good i just added the animation maybe we can add some animation for the ladder also but as of now this is fine okay now uh, i hope you people know how we can able to create this uh, bo the board snake snake and ladder board to this uh, in this web page Maybe, uh, okay, the last point which we are going to do is show the action. Show the action means whenever that coins is coming to this place, we have to tell to which person it has to go, right? So that description we are going to show it now. So the description already we are having in the JSON object itself, which means here we are mentioned if that coin reaches position number 5, it has to go to the position 12. If the coin reaches 9, it has to go to the 2 because snake will move us to the down actually okay so only thing is now we need to show this description uh, into the box uh, okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a one more new element called span so the way how we have created image right the same thing i'm going to create a span here 
Now this pan will load this uh, inner HTML which is this one okay. So in the span I am going to add this text called go to object at action this action is already available in the this one. The same way how we added the image to the div I am adding this uh, uh, span also that is it okay. So now go to the place save this one go to this place and as you can see here the description. So whenever the user comes to this uh, box he can able to go to the 63 position whenever he comes to this position he can able to go to the 25. Maybe we have to do some more uh, uh, CSS changes needed but as of now this is very basic actually okay fine okay guys so in the next part we will see how to move the coin from one position to the next position okay and meanwhile if you have any doubts if you have any clarifications just let me know i will do you i will tell you like what we need to know actually okay fine bye bye